Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, 7.30 here. Uh, just woke up, so I don't know how fluid I'm gonna be doing this, but we'll see. I normally wake up at like noon when I'm in a box, and when I'm in, well, I guess this is technically a box, but it's a, it's a more free box. Uh, I've been waking up with like the sun and that sort of thing. So, uh, I just wanted to say thank you all for the help for watching the video of the merfolk and the, the queen and all that. And in that video and some of the other videos, whenever I go to a place and I talk about the expense uh, of going, I, I want to want to be sure people understand the reason why I do that. Uh, I don't say it just to I don't say it to entice or. Um, uh, like grab donations or anything like that, which I don't believe anybody who has feels that at all. Uh, the, the reason I say that I, I believe land should be free. Uh, I think land should be free to walk, free to hike, free to explore on the East Coast, just like it is on the West Coast. And I think the West Coast should open more land and the East Coast should open a lot of land to be free for people it should not be gatekeeped by money uh you know it shouldn't be gatekeeped in that fashion and even i believe even europe has laws that you can hike wherever you want or at least areas of europe have laws uh, where you are allowed to just wander and if you're on somebody's property and you want to put a tent up it's like you can put a tent up and uh, I don't I don't remember which countries, but I, I remember it's like some of those countries like there's just laws that say, hey, you're allowed to do that, you know, even though it's private land type of thing. Uh, and I think America should be that way. I think all countries should be that way. It shouldn't be gatekeeped to, you know, hey, do you have the money or do you not have the money? So that's why I talk about money with some of these places that I go where I have to pay certain things. And it's like, you know, it's it's more of an awareness of shifting consciousness to bring people into the awareness of like, hey, why are we paying to go see nature? Why are we paying to do this and that? And I get the whole thing of like protecting the land and all that. But the whole point is raising people's consciousness. And if we do that, we won't have to protect the land. We won't have to do certain things that we do and we won't have to wait like the keys so so I got so I tried to stay in the keys I didn't tell people this I don't think I tried to stay in the keys an extra night and I thought all of the no overnight parking was local ordinances to the towns so I found a little tiny key that had a space I could pull over and hide my car behind some trees and I was like okay this is outside of any of the towns well, apparently it's a county thing. <laughs> so I got a knock and the officers, like, uh, they came, they knocked. They they were like, hey, you know, it's an arrestable offense. Like, you can literally get arrested for sleeping in your car, uh, which is the craziest thing ever. And so they obviously they didn't arrest me. Uh, they, they pulled me out and they were like, look, don't do it again. Go to a 24-hour place pull over but that's the night I left and I was just like okay I, I've spent my time I've pushed my luck and the thing is they have to do that because and, and he even said this he's like we we have to do this even though this is out like in the middle of nowhere we have to do this because if we didn't the van people the RVs everybody would take that that over and just destroy it so, so I get why some of these places are fee-based, but that's the whole point. We're trying to shift. We need to shift the consciousness of humanity to be able to just be like, everything's free. Like, go wherever you want. And if you see a place that's packed, turn around and leave. Go somewhere else that's not packed because it's got too many people at it at that time. Um, it's one of those things that it's like, you know, it if we continue blocking access to these natural areas, we're blocking people's ability to connect with different beings. We're blocking their ability to 
em embrace nature more and we're just keeping them inside their box i mean that's part of the point of these places that are that are fee-based it's like well you can't come in unless you pay us okay well what about all the people who really can't afford to pay you for those things but actually enjoy that more than the people who are making tons of money sitting in a box at home playing video games you know um and a lot of people are to those spaces where they're shifting and they're like getting out of their box and in that sort of thing so the whole point of this is just uh I, I always talk about those fees to to kind of seed consciousness and seed the idea of hey let's shift this at some point like you should be able to pull up to a park and they just go oh you know what we're full today like maybe it's maybe it's free but it, it's about first come first serve type of thing which is a lot of camping at certain parks is you know first come first serve you pull in you get the spot type of thing so having limits like that where it's like okay well the shoreline the forest whatever it is everybody can access it but it's based on you know how many people are there so it's not not being abused uh and then i just want, wanted to say i love spirit <laughs> i i woke up this morning i had an event registration uh for or a couple of event registrations for kennett square park in, which is outside of philadelphia if you haven't heard yet i'm starting to do events i have one in kennett square outside philadelphia and one in long island uh, at st james with my friend sarah in may and one in june in shasta check those out they're on my website there's a link right at the top in awakenwithwillow.com and then i had a donation come through that covered the expenses for everything i spent yesterday when it came to the park and and other stuff so i love this community i i appreciate you all uh you guys keep keep me moving forward and keep pushing me forward and every time i'm like you know i was thinking yesterday i'm like maybe i'll get a camp spot camping site or something and i'm like ah uh, i don't know because i am like i am kind of budgeting and making sure i have enough to go west and, and all that and this morning I woke up with the re the event registrations and the donation and I was just like, well, I guess I can go get a camp spot for a few days, which is awesome because that means I can spend more time here, maybe working with those merfolk, drawing them, doing some client work, cleaning up some stuff, getting caught up on things. Uh, so I'm going to go find a place and see what happens and uh, go from there and then tell you all, you know, later uh you know what happens with um the the ocean folk and that which will be interesting too because spirit even said like we want you in georgia to camp in georgia for three days at least and i was like well you, you bring me the the money and funding and i will and woke up this morning and i was like well i guess i'm gonna be able to do that <laughs> so we'll see what happens but uh i appreciate each and every one of you super grateful for all of you keep watching i'll keep posting and making videos as i experience things uh and we'll go from there i mean i haven't even shared all the experiences i've had i, I had a dragon walk up on the beach two days ago and they they actually followed me i, I forgot i was like trying to think of what happened before the mer merfolk they had followed me to, to this other beach and i had um you know, sponge civilization reach out uh, last night I started dreaming of what the this merfolk city kind of looks like uh, I guess they came and got me like I traveled in my dreams and um, just all kinds of cool stuff and so I have a lot of notes and things to share but uh, thank you for sticking with me if you've watched this video this far and, you know 10 minutes of me just talking about I don't even remember uh, nature fees and stuff so love you all grateful for each and every one of you bye